6,660 pounds. We have a Highland Ridge Light 291 RLS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now, as time rolls on, this will become more familiar, but at the time of this filming, this is a drastic departure from what the Light, L-I-G-H-T series at Highland Ridge represented. Previously, these were extra wide, they were extra tall, they were extra heavy, they were extra expensive. Well, what they found out is that there's a lot of people that want a really sharp, jazzy coach. They just don't need it big and giant and heavy. So what they did is, in, to an extent, they basically homogenized the very popular um, Highland Ridge Ultralight and the Highland Ridge Light. So this is effectively, the easiest way to think about this, if you've been familiar with the Highland Ridge RVs here at Haylet RV, is that this is a Highland Ridge Ultralight. I love that motion sensitive light, by the way. So this is a Highland Ridge Ultralight with a trim package upgrade. They, uh, the Ultralight and the light will now share body styles, they share construction, they share many floor plans, but this is basically a trim package upgrade. The best way I can describe this is if the Ultralight is the LT, this is the LX of uh, the open range Ultralight world, or Highland Ridge if you will. Um, very slick coach, and it actually, what's nice is the Ultra series upon which this is based, well it literally is an Ultra with a little bit of an upgrade. Um, it has had some pretty impressive service records here at our store. Uh, that's one of the things I like about being here at Halet RV. With a full parts and service center, we kind of get an idea of not just the things that are fun to look at, but the things that perform well for customers. So uh, we've got the three-quarter nose cap on here that is very common in the in the fancy uh, lightweight world. Power awning with lighting uh, actually has uh, speakers in the awning arms so that when the, the awning is open, the speakers point down to the campsite. A lot of coaches have similar features like the power tongue jack, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. I do like this easy uh, access little nose accent switch there. A lot of brands seem to hide that. Um, the uh, the look of this thing is fantastic. Looking at this in your rearview mirror behind the uh, the vehicle has a good look and feel to it. Um, this has a, uh, a one plus three warranty, three year structural warranty uh, on top of your uh, full hitch to bumper coverage. Um, but they didn't cheapen it up, guys. All they did was change the size. You know, um, like you still have the the signature stuff that makes this a Highlander Ridge product like the uh, painted aluminum screw trim as opposed to plastic screw trim which is going to be subject to heat expansion and contraction this will fight all of that you saw the the nice large pass-through storage with these big like 30 inch and very tall baggage doors um, this is the same size front baggage compartment basically as a, a Jayco J flight that we carry here at Halet RV which is the number one selling trailer on the market so obviously these guys are doing it right this standard has the Highland Ridge thermal package, which is, it, it goes very in depth. The, the phrase thermal package or polar package has no standardized definition in this business. So why am I so pumped about this one? Because it goes further. It, it has an enclosed forced air heated underbelly, which is where most ultralights stop. Then they add several layers of insulation to the underbelly. They insulate the slides and they insulate the roof and the front nose cap of this, just like their big fifth wheels. This is one of the most heavily insulated lightweight trailers on the market. They've done a great job of this. There's a lot of exclusive features here you won't find anywhere else. You'll see more of those inside. Um, the, uh, the roof, instead of a uh, rubberized, uh, either TPO or EPDM or Alpha Flex or Dicor, whatever roof skin you want to talk about, this has a basically a pliable PVC roof skin. Um, it does not need to be specifically treated. It does not promote the growth of black algae, which is where your black streaks come from. Um, it will hold up longer, like the, the roof material itself, not your seals, you always need to take care of your seals, but the roof material itself requires no specific maintenance to maintain its warranty. Now we just happened to get a couple year old um, Highland Ridge RV in on trade a few days ago, and the roof looked gleaming brand new, so it actually does exactly what it says. We've got a nice little water um, utility connection port right here. This is a little uh, like outside shower. There's a, a little removable hose that comes with this that's up front. You know, your, your fresh water fills, your cable and satellite hookups, which are separate here, by the way. All that stuff, it, it's very simple and easy. Now, this right here, this is your cheat sheet, and it's not a sticker. It's actually a, a part of the uh, the thing here, um, the, the cover, to tell you exactly what everything does right here. So it's very simple and easy. Um, 
you may notice the roof has a pretty aggressive arch on it. This has a, a double arched roof system, uh, which means that there's no insulation gaps along the edges of the trailer. So most RVs have a flat interior, but an arched exterior. This is double arched so that it, it maintains an equal distance and equal insulation all the way across. Brands that don't have that in uh, you know big temperature swings could see condensation lines that beat up on the ceiling of your RV next to the walls because there's less insulation there. Now you notice we have dual power awnings. Both are easy tilt. Both include LED lighting. Um, both have speakers in the awning arms. All kinds of good stuff going on here. Um, the uh, You've got a little quick connect back here if you want to add an outside grill. You've got TV hookups. You have LED tail lights. I mean, this is, uh, this is equipped and it is awesome and ready to rock and roll. You know, it just does everything. Um, the aluminum entry steps are something that last year you saw most exclusively on fifth wheels, but on a few trailers that are in the upper echelon like this, you'd find them. Um, they, they're not going to corrode like a steel wheel or a steel um, step could. They, uh, they're also like, they're like an aluminum boat dock where they're not going to slip when your, uh, your feet are wet. You also have a key-like system where your door key, deadbolt key, baggage door key, every key, all lines up the same. You saw the motion sensitive light, uh, solar uh, quick connect, which it seems like just about everything has. All the windows open for ventilation. They use a combination of frameless and framed windows in the right places to give you airflow everywhere, anytime. Um, friction hinged entry door, so I can just flip the door open and it doesn't go slamming against anything. Very nice if the grandkids come over for grandpa and grandma. Now this is where you start to see more of those exclusive features. Now remember, Pretty much everything I've showed you up to this point is true on both the ultralight and the light Highland Ridge models that we carry here at Halet RV. Again, they have uh, many of the same floor plans, almost an exact same set of features. This just has a trim package upgrade to it. So uh, if you want to see, again, what we have in stock and available, visit the link in our video description. It says check for price and availability. Uh, we do publish fair market pricing. We do not engage in the practice of hidden fees here at Halet RV. So the one that we have in stock, maybe it has different furniture set up than this. Or maybe you want the Ultra version as opposed to the LIGHT Lite version. We have that. So what's different? Well, the um, Ultra will have thermal foil um, kitchen countertops throughout. And this still has them in certain places. But in your primary kitchen area, the, the L-I-G-H-T light, not ultra L-I-T-E, I, the, the way they spell the names in this business drives me nuts, um, this will have solid surface countertops. There's a handful of little things that go into this. Like this will have a standard 80 inch true queen bed, whereas the ultra has a 74 to 80 convertible queen bed. It's little stuff like that. It's a bunch of little things, guys. They're little touches, but they're also those things that if, if you're gonna keep something long term, maybe you want those extra little things. So I mentioned a few times there's exclusive things here. This is the first ultralight travel trailer ever to have whisper quiet uh, air conditioning. So it is a more efficient uh, cooling system and it is drastically quieter. Depending on who you talk to, it's between 70 to 90% quieter. Depends on what guys do in the marketing, but even the low conservative number is 70%. It's extremely quiet, guys. You may also notice your floor flush slides in here are um, carpetless. This is a completely carpetless, easy cleaning model. And that is an exclusive thing. They're the only carpetless floor flush trailer on the market. Um, another thing, your main slides, your main deep slide in an open range ultralight or light here at Halet RV is 39 inches deep as opposed to industry standard 36 inches deep. That's a big thing with Highland Ridge. They have deeper slides, guys. So what that means is in, uh, it, it keeps all of the furniture contained. The, the furniture doesn't stick out into your living space. It also means you have a little more room for those four chairs when we have guests over. So like I said, pretty much everything you're looking at here could apply to the light or the ultralight. Um, so most of what I'm going to share is, is very, um, you know, interchangeable between the two of them. So let's start back here in the living room. Something that changed from uh, previous seasons is all of these things have swing out TVs now. And uh, previously what they had was a flat mounted TV that gave perfect viewing, awesome viewing, for your dual wall hugging re uh, theater recliners over here. But if you had guests or someone was on the rear sofa, they had to do the neck crank. Well, obviously now we don't need to do that. So whether you're at the theater seats where I'm at right now, or you're on the rear sofa, everybody gets a nice shot at this thing. Uh, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player, pretty common. 
5120 larger BTU electric space heating fireplace. That's another nice thing. There's a 4000 you can see in a lot of trailers, and there's nothing wrong with that. But this is better. This is not intended to be the good series of anything. It's the better series of anything. These are 50 amp service. If you choose to add a second air conditioner, you can plop one in right here. And with our full Halet RV Parts and Service Center, we can co accomplish that for you before you ever take it home. Um, the hide bed in the back, very. this is very much a fifth wheel living room in a lightweight, supremely half ton towable travel trailer. That's what's nice about this. Not everybody needs a giant fifth wheel bedroom slide. Not everybody needs a 45 foot monster rig or even 35 foot. Some people just need something smaller that they can tow with a half ton and enjoy. That's what this is. On both sides of the hide bed, though, I do like that they didn't skimp. They still have those waterproof thermal foil um, countertops on both sides. Both sides have outlets, so you can run phone chargers and whatnot. I mentioned already these are uh, you know, a pair of wall hugger theater recliners. And the middle armrest there actually does have nice little remote control storage. Now, all of your windows, including this back window, open for maximum ventilation, which is a nice thing. You're going to want and appreciate that factor. They've also recently touched up their dinette, which is really nice. They're, they're, even their freestanding tables here. There's a little mechanical lock underneath. I've already disengaged. Uh, so this does a couple things. So you've got a handy little desk drawer, and you may have noticed the whole tabletop can actually swing open, and then you can kick up this extra leaf right here. I can promise you, so many people at our dealership, they're going to see that the leaf is against the wall with the table pushed over, and they're going to be like, well, something's wrong with this. Obviously, the idiots installed it wrong. Not true. They installed it exactly how they're supposed to. So let's look at the kitchen. The kitchen has some pretty good storage for a, a rear living room trailer. You don't often get... Big fifth wheel pantry is built directly into a slide out like this. Anywhere you see countertop, whether it's here in the slide or the island, you're going to get full storage. Something Highland Ridge does in both the Ultra and the Light series. You know, they don't waste anything. They give you drawers instead of the knuckle buster flop down pretend drawer, things like that. The entire island is pure storage. Now, I specifically left the sink cover off so you could see the uh, big stainless steel uh, sink there. And I love the very sleek looking, and by the way, the, the hardware on this, you hear that's real hardware. It's not, what did I get in my hand? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you've got real hardware, you can hear it. It's very aesthetically pleasing. You've got all kinds of storage down here on this island. They've nailed everything on this. Now you notice cabinet ducted heating, not floor ducted heating. They like to do that so that you don't have the potential for dirt, particulate, M&Ms, Skittles, paper clips, whatever, to fall down into a heat vent, which is not easy to clean. It's not the end of the world, guys. I don't think that should be a make or break feature, but it is a personal thing, so I like to point it out. There's advantages both ways, actually. Larger, eight cubic foot, gas electric, travel and friendly, fridge freezer. I like the stainless appliance bundle. Very sharp looking in here. You've also got a lot of appliance outlets in this kitchen. You've got two on the island. You've got two against that wall. You've got another one over there next to that light. You've got five sets of appliance outlets all over the place here. So whether it's phone chargers, blenders, coffee makers, whatever, you got spaces for all that. And the control panel up here is hidden away from the grandkids' little wandering fingers, you know. Hidden hinge cabinets, too. That's not necessarily something you don't find anywhere else. It is just a general indicator of something nicer. Now, when you're getting the RV packed or you're going down the road, you want to hop in and out of the bathroom real quick. Or if you just don't want people traipsing through your entire RV, you can see the bathroom door is directly next to the main entry door. And look at the details, like the little door stopper down there, so that you don't, you know, fling the door open and, and uh, the, you know, door handle doesn't smash into your woodwork or anything like that. Now, one thing I like about these, of many things, is that every room, bedroom, bathroom, everything has its own little wall switch for all the overhead lights. All your main cabin lights have a wall switch. That's something that is often missed in the industry. A lot of brands require that you go through and click on ceiling lights individually. And again, I don't think it's really that big of a deal, but uh, it is a convenience thing. Now you've got the slide open shower so that I can walk straight in and out of it. I don't have to open a door and back up and put my butt into the hallway where you know I'm going to scar someone for life. <laughs> also, dedicated linen storage right here in the bathroom, and it's actually deep. It's very functional. I have seen some brands that will put what looks like a linen cabinet in there, and then when you open it, it's like this is an angle, and you have to roll your towels up like taco burrito style to get to it. Now, notice here in the bathroom, again, thermal foil waterproof countertops, a nice deep stainless sink. It's not a small sink. I can get my hands in here and really clean them. It's just a really big countertop. 
sliding privacy doors, you know, you got an easy dual entry bathroom, so you've got the convenience of a direct entry bathroom without actually having to rearrange an entire trailer for direct entry bathroom. Porcelain stool, by the way. Remember, this is a 80 inch full true queen bed right here. All your main cabin lights are on one switch. If you feel like throwing a TV here in the bedroom, you can put it on the wall. You could probably mount it into the ceiling right here. It's got a full walk on roof on it. Um, the uh, bedside stands with outlets against the headboard are supremely CPAP friendly. So if you do have those late night breathing machines where you look like Darth Vader and Bane, well, you guys are gonna be just okay. But chances are, um, well, no, I think I think uh, uh, age bracket a little older than me will definitely know Darth Vader since that predates my time. Maybe not Bane, maybe a bad option. Laundry chute. A lot of people don't think about what am I gonna do with yesterday's clothes? Well, this camper takes care of you. You can just leave a, a laundry basket down there. You can toss yesterday's clothes in it. When you get back to your home or you go to laundry mat or whatever, you open that side baggage compartment, um, grab your basket, and you're done. You know, this is slick, this is modern, this is very fun, fresh, cutting edge stuff. These guys are ahead of the curve. They're on the bleeding edge of the razor in the lightweight world. And there's other brands that do different things. I mean, Lord knows we carry a lot of different brands here at Higlet RV. I've got, let's see, we got the, the Highlands, Jayco's, Coachman's, and Keystone's, and Rockwood's, and everything else, Winnebago's. There's a lot of great brands out there, and they all bring different cool things to the table. And that's what I love representing different brands for. I, I can honestly say they're all the best in a different reason because I actually get to, to see, feel, and touch every one of those things. So um, I guess feel and touch would be the same, weren't they? Never mind, doesn't matter. Regardless, whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, or everything in between, Halet RV only does everything. You know, we publish fair market pricing. Oh, look at that. Just I just noticed this, the way the decals actually flow down through the skirt. I've not seen anyone do that. Maybe I've just never consciously acknowledged it before. That's different. I like that. Just different stuff. It just has to be different, you know? Anyway, give us a call. It doesn't matter where you are. There is no such thing as being too far away. And that's where maybe the, the nice toe and equal flex suspension on this will actually uh, help you if you do choose to make the drive. Or we can deliver it. Whatever. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.